YouTube as well as being Clueless Drinker on Twitter. And uh, yeah, started the broadcast on YouTube now as well. Uh, my dad taught me everything I know. Um, yeah, currently getting um, what is supposed to be troll comments, but it's really <laughs> not working at all. And uh, yeah, lots of light going on in the background, which I do apologize for. Couldn't sit down for a week. Fair enough. Um, why am I even wasting my time acknowledging him? Uh, but yeah, guys, welcome to this uh, hangout, doing a little bit of a uh, beer unboxing. As you can see, the box is behind me. And uh, yeah, the light is not the background, it's your skin. Well played, well played. Uh, let's tilt you away for a minute. Uh, it's really not a good video at all, is it? Uh, I hope you guys can see the beers as I show them, um, both on YouTube and on Twitter. But um, yeah, made my first order at Beergium recently. I uh, recorded this on Friday. I ordered on the Monday and um, yeah, took five days to get from uh, Belgium to Germany. And uh, yeah, can't complain. Packaged really, really nicely. This is uh, actually a box from inside a box. And um, yeah, full of these like little packaging things. And yeah, cannot complain about that. So, so far so good. I have opened the box, but as you can see, the beers are still in the bubble wrap. So I thought, you know what, test out uh, Twitter live stream sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, do a live video as well. Get yeah, the channel out there a little bit more. So to kick things off, I've got a can of, God, that's ice cold. Uh, Bench warmers and beer bibliotech, who I think are the yeah Swedish craft beer, and this is the kilo of cookies number one hundred and seventy seven, which is an eight point six percent ABV imperial oat stout, and there it is on the YouTube. And more people are joining, so welcome people who are joining this live stream. But yeah, that is actually ice cold. That is crazy. Um, well, not crazy because it's absolutely freezing here in Germany and it's really dark on camera. A lot brighter on the phone, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I quickly read you the description. Uh, collaborations are an integral part of our brewing philosophy. This time around, our friends from Benchwarmers Brewing Company joined us at our brewery for more than just tea and cookies. The beer is dedicated to our brewery dogs, Kilo and Cookie. Hashtag Nelson, I think that says. So I think they like literally put like a big load of um, oat cookies into this beer. So um, sounds absolutely fantastic. Look forward to that. And uh, yeah, lovely, lovely artwork on that can. So I'll put that on the floor. Next up, we have a bottle of Duchessa di Borgogne, which is, I think it's along the lines of like a, a Belgian ale, and uh, Duchess of, I'm not too sure the translation of that. Uh, I don't even know who brewed this one. I think I just thought this one because it was the cheapest and it was uh, bulking up an order. So it rounded up, I think. Uh, brewed by the, the Heike, is that? Uh, apologies for the butchering of these titles. But um, yeah, lovely little artwork. I think this is basically a um, like a sour Flemish red ale. And uh, yeah, clocking in at 6.2%. So um, yeah, it should pack a little bit of a punch. And I hope it is a sour because I'm really enjoying the sour beers. But yeah, very pretty looking bottle indeed. So there's that one. This is absolutely terrible, but I don't care. I'll, sh I'll soldier on. So, next layer of beer. I've got another bottle. Now, this was the beer that, because um, my birthday is on February the 11th, no hints there. 
Um, and I wanted, you know, a nice hyped up beer to drink on my birthday. And uh, yes, yeah, so this was the main one. And this is the collaboration between Omnipolo, uh, Siren and Dave Stacken, who was essentially, um, I think Omnipolo do like a homebrew contest. A lot of breweries do that. And uh, the winner obviously gets to go to, um, is it Duggars where they brewed this one? And they brewed the beer that they did. And uh, yeah, Omnipolo really wanted to try a lot of the hyped up beers. I mean, I picked up a couple in this box um, because I've really wanted to try this stuff. The only one that I've tried by them is the collaboration that they did with um, Brewdog, which was the flat pack. Um, I can't remember what style it was. It was very tart though, quite nice, even though I was drinking that like towards the end of a drinking session in Liverpool. But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, this is Lorelei, which is a coconut maple toast imperial porter brewed with toasted coconut and maple syrup. Sounds absolutely fantastic. And uh, that artwork is really nice and simple too. Uh, three inch fat mill bottle clocking in at 10.5 percent so uh, definitely packs a punch and uh yeah i've heard this is very hype worthy right now so um yeah it's going to be hard I me mean, not drinking this um until february let's just put it that way but um yeah happy to get one of these hype beers from omnipolo they seem to be you know just doing an absolutely immense job so then next up we have another Omnipolo beer, and this is the Zodiac India Pale Ale brewed. Uh, I think this is um, Mosaic, is it, that they primarily used with this one? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Just really say, doesn't give you an ingredients list. But yeah, I wanted to try just like a, a regular IPA from these guys and. Uh, People who are watching this on Twitter can definitely see that that's hazy in the bottle, but it's a bit, bit too dark. I should have filmed this a different way on uh, the MacBook. But uh, yeah, absolutely stunning artwork once again. And uh, yeah, IPA clocking in at 6.2%. And uh, yeah, not that ice cold beer. So, what have we got next? Oh, I've got a beer from another brewery that I've really wanted to try, and this is from uh, Michaela. And this is the uh, Crunchy Frog Brown Stout, uh, Brown Ale, I think it is. Uh, this beer comes with a soundtrack. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, I think this is a collaboration. So I'll definitely be looking up that if I can still get that download code. But um, yeah, another brewery whose artwork I've always really enjoyed but never really had the opportunity to try any of their beers and uh, some of the beers that were in stock on Birgium uh, I've heard a lot of good things about but I wasn't really in the mood for them and uh, I've not had a good old-fashioned brown ale for quite a while so I thought I'd give this one a go so uh, yeah just fantastic looking beer and this one is clocking in at 5.5%, so very respectable indeed. And uh, yeah, looking forward to popping that one open. So that's two, four, five. So I think I've got five more. Let's get rid of that. Going back over to Sweden for another Omnipolo beer. And uh, I think this is, is it another IPA? No, yeah, yeah, it is an Imperial IPA. And this is the Nebuchan, Nebuchad Netzer. I'm not sure how that is pronounced. Apologies about the mispronunciation. But um, yeah, very striking, simple artwork as well. Quite abstract. And uh, yeah, this is clocking in at 8.5%. So looking forward to popping this one open. Um, as if any of these beers I'm not looking forward to drinking. I don't know why I have to comment about them, but um, yeah, fantastic stuff. And I am seeing that people are joining the uh, Twitter chat thingy 
Um, massive, massive thank you, whether you're uh, an arsehole or a genuinely awesome human being for stopping by. So the sound's probably a bit waffled because my microphone on my iPhone is standing on top of my MacBook. But I just wanted to give this a try and thought this would be a great excuse. So, next up, and we've gone over to America this time, and we've got Great Divide's Yeti Imperial Stout. Uh, another beer brewery that I've heard a hell of a lot about, and uh, I know that the various barrel-aged versions of the Yeti Imperial Stout are highly, highly regarded. Um, I did actually see one when I was in Brewdog in Liverpool, but I hate it when you go to like bars and bottle shops when they don't have the prices for their beers. And uh, they didn't have a price for the Imperial Stout, uh, the barrel age. I think it was the bourbon barrel age version of this. And uh, I only found out, after, you know, like a few days later from uh, Craig over at Kent Beer Reviews that Brewdog was selling it for about £18, which, you know, I was absolutely snozzled um, when I was out in Liverpool that day and uh, it would have been a massive mistake me carrying around an 18 pound bottle of American craft beer um, and yeah I'm a little bit when it comes to paying that much for a beer I'm a little bit you know edgy about putting that much money down but um, yeah this was for a good price from what I remember and uh, yeah, I think uh, Paul over at PA Brew News will definitely appreciate this one. So yeah, the Imperial Stout clocking in at uh, do, 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 12 fluid ounces, 350 microgram in the bottle, 9.5%. Uh, so got quite a few heavy hitters and winter warmers in this little box. And uh, yeah, cool artwork. So uh, I'm glad that I can actually try a uh, Great Divide beer finally. And there's the, the bottle cap. Fantastic stuff. So, what's next? Some of these I've forgotten what I've picked up. Uh, next up, we have got, um, I don't remember this one, but it's got an absolutely fantastic label. This is ordained by Temple Brew House, is that? Fantastic sort of black metal doom metal sort of artwork there and uh yeah this is a green tea berliner weisse so um i don't remember actually ordering that one to be honest anyway uh yeah looks really good and uh, i'm guessing these guys are out of is that sweden again uh, apologies, I, I've really got no idea, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, fantastic looking beer. Uh, of course, you really can't see it at all on the actual YouTube live stream. But yeah, looking forward to trying that one. Um, I've not had too many Ber Berliner Weisse beers. And the ones that I've had have been a little bit meh to be honest but i do like my sour beers and uh yeah looking forward to giving that one a try you don't really no it's not it's not swedish it's from austria you dick um yeah in collaboration with lissa press which i'm guessing is a band so uh yeah a few collaboration brews in this box set so uh yeah another one that it sounds intriguing, although I have really no recollection of actually putting that in my box. That's what she said. Okay, next up, we've got a beer from the uh, Brussels beer, beer Project, and it's a limited edition one, and a double white IPA with the Two Me Turby cool looking artwork there and uh, yeah if i just hold it here both cameras can see it perfectly so i'm not continuously swapping but um yeah nice and vibrant another brewery that i've heard a lot about um, a lot of hype and there's the crown so uh, yeah a double white ipa clocking in at 7.1 percent with an ibu count of 80. uh two me turby 
or an Italian lover lost in Brussels during a hot summer. Don't get too close. She's big time trouble. So, uh, yeah. How can you say no with a description like that? I'm getting a feeling now that this was thrown in. Not that one. The, um... I'm getting a feeling that this beer was thrown in for free. If so, thank you guys over at Beagum. Massively appreciated. And uh, the one thing I want to quickly show you before I carry on with the last couple of beers, uh, there of course is the business card with all the information on. And they also threw in a Tuol um, beer mat. And uh, I do like to collect my beer mats because I'm a sad fuck. But um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Always, always appreciate the swag. Next up, going back to Sweden with Omnipolo again, or Omnipolo, mm -hmm. okay. that's how it's properly pronounced. And this is the, uh, it's part of their Magic Number series, and this is the Patisserie Pale, which I think is um, a maple pale, I'm not too sure. Um, clocking in at 5%. Uh, fridge vote milk bottle. Um, I do definitely remember this beer because um, it just stood out to me. I think it's like a, yeah, it's like a, a maple pale ale and it just sounded intriguing to me. And uh, yeah, nice and simple. Nice crown on top. And uh, yeah, another one. You know, it's hard to get hold of Omnipolo beers for a good price, I find, especially here in Germany. Um, I think it's only like their big limited beers that seem to make the way to Germany and they demand, you know, crazy prices. So, you know, Beer Goon was selling, you know, Michela, Tuol, uh, Omnipolo, these really good European breweries for really quite cheap. And I thought, you know what, just pick up a few of them. And I think this is our final beer. And that is from Tuol. And this is the, what is this one called? Tuol Goes North. Goes Ale with quince and sea book form. So, um, yeah, I love the ingredients uh, that Tuol use. And I think in terms of sour beers and goes style beers, uh, Tuol are doing an absolutely wonderful job. Each one that I've had by them, although, you know, uh, just a couple, and I add, or you know, maybe three or four. I've really, really enjoyed one of my favorite breweries, and uh, this is one that I never really see. I mean, Beretta does have um, a few of the two old beers, but um, you know, when you see stuff that you can't really get hold of, you see it for a good price, you, you know, you might as well make that little purchase. I mean, this this beer gum order is uh, you know, a one off for the distant future, to be honest. But um, yeah, and I thought I'd pick up a few beers for my birthday and pick up a few cheapies to, you know, drink uh, between now and then for like hangouts, that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, some interesting beers to review. But um, yeah, a goes beer with absolutely uh, beautiful artwork once again from is it Casper uh, Liedert? Is that how it's pronounced? Uh, always does some striking artwork. And I love how all of his labels are purposely imperfect um i just like that whole idea uh, it's just amazing what this yeah casper lead or casper lead it and uh yeah it's just amazing what breweries are doing now and the, the artists that they're getting involved with and collaborations both breweries coffee houses uh culinary come you know or just such a wonderfully you know open and inclusive world and uh yeah fantastic fantastic stuff so thank you to uh everyone jesus christ 21 minutes uh thank you to everyone who's watched on twitter even the arsehole at the start of the uh and of course a massive thank you to my youtube subscribers so uh 
the people on YouTube, if you've not done so already, follow me on Twitter, and you guys on Twitter, uh, follow me on YouTube, uh, Clueless Drinker on YouTube, just hit me up. And uh, yeah, massive, massive thank you to Beer Gum. Uh, beautifully packed, no spillages, the beers are like ice cold, so I don't really need to refrigerate them right now. Um, and fantastic delivery, really quick as well. And, uh, you know, I recently sent out a few beers to a friend back in England, to Dean, and it costs me, you know, pretty much double what I paid postage-wise for, you know, 10 or 11 beers. And, uh, yeah, beer gum, uh, if you did indeed throw in that beer, uh, I do really appreciate it. And uh, guys in Europe, and I even think uh, in the American territories, they do postage. Check them out. Links will be everywhere, and I will be promoting them, obviously. Because, you know, you've got to promote the good guys at the end of the day. And I'm uh, going to cut it short here because I'm starting to waffle. Thank you, guys, and uh, I hope you all look forward to the reviews in the future. I am looking forward to drinking them. So I'll say bye to you first.